What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Young Curd, back with another banger. So, last two months, I've been extremely just lazy, and I've been working, I mean, lazy towards YouTube. I've been working really hard in other areas, but it's 2022. We're uploading every single day. A lot of people have been asking me, yo, Young Curd, you still watch basketball? What have you been up to? Like, do you not watch the game anymore? And it's like, I have no life. You guys already know I watch the game. So, I'm going to... I, I literally have not missed a single NBA game this whole entire season. So I'm going to do my West starters, my West reserves, my East starters, my East reserves. Obviously, as you can see on the board, Bam and Abayo and Paul George are both on my injured list. I think Bam has not played this whole season, played 10 games out of 40. So uh, we can't really put him on there. And as far as Paul George, I think Paul George definitely has an all-star. He could be a reserve, but just for sakes now, I feel I heard that he's going to miss every game up to All-Star break, so we're putting him on the injury list. So let's start off with the West starters, and we'll start with my locks. So obviously, my first lock is Stephen Curry. My second lock definitely has to be LeBron James. Um, so this is where it gets a little bit tricky for... Oh, obviously, Jokic is a lock as well. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky for me. This is the reason why. If you would have asked me two weeks ago, I probably would have had Chris Paul, Devin Booker, Donovan Mitchell in my West starters. If you were to ask me today, I would have to put John Morant. So that's just me. If you have any other guy up there, that makes sense to me. And then for my five spot, to me personally, it's between Carl Anthony Towns, Brandon Ingram, and Paul George. And I'm going to go with Brandon Ingram. Just because that's who I feel like has had a better season. Towns was in COVID protocol. It, you could say Towns. You could say Towns and I would not be mad at that. But I'm going to go with Brandon Ingram. Um, he's the only... Re he's averaging 25 points, 10 rebounds. No, 25 points, 7 assists, 6 rebounds. I mean, almost a 24-point triple-double. And he's the only reason why the Pelicans are even relevant. Okay. So I'm going to start with my locks for the East starters. Obviously, we have Giannis. Obviously, we have Durant. And obviously, nope, that's not obvious, actually. Obviously, we have Embiid and DeRozan. So for me, they have DeRozan listed at a as a guard right now. So I have a guard, two forwards, and a center. I know it makes no sense because All-Star is... I wish All-Star's positionless everybody says I wish it was positionless it would make more sense if it was positionless I don't even have to talk about these guys up top on the west by the way MVP candidate Jokic is my MVP right now LeBron James DeMar DeRozan is having an MVP year Kevin Durant we obviously know he's one of the baddest men on the planet Giannis is front runner for MVP and Embiid is in the MVP conversation so only thing that I look at right now that I feel like you guys could trade if change if you really wanted to is probably Brandon Ingram so for my other guard, I was really thinking about Tatum. Tatum, obviously, I'm a Boston Celtics fan, but I can't do Tatum. I have to do Trey Young. Trey Young is averaging second most points in the league, or he might be the highest. He's a top three point scorer in the league. He had a 56 point game last week, and he's the only reason. And the Hawks are playing actually very inspiring basketball. One thing I do say that I am upset about on this list is that I had to leave Jared Allen out of there, but there's no way I can put Jared Allen over Embiid. I just, I I want to, but there's no way that I could do it. So now we go to Jared Allen. He's definitely an East reserve for me. Cole Anthony has been playing good basketball, 22 points a game. But the, uh, when it comes down to like a player that's averaging like 25 or a player that's averaging like 22, by the way, let's put Anthony Davis in injured, then it's difficult for me to put the player with the, like if you have a better record than the other player, it shouldn't matter in the All-Star game, but for this occasion it does because it just does. So I got to say LaMelo Ball is definitely an East All-Star. Uh, Bradley Beal. I want to put Beal in there, but missing 14 games kind of hurts his case. And there's other guys that I would put there before him. Jimmy Butler. Definitely have to have Jimmy Butler in the All-Star. I know a lot of people aren't going to like that because he's missed a lot of games, but... To me, Jimmy Butler has been an all-star so far this year. Let's go down and look at some of the other guys. Uh, East. Jalen Brown, we'll come back to that. Uh, Garland. To me, Garland, okay, Harden's definitely been an all-star. 
to me, Garland is a case where I want him to put him as an all-star, but I don't know if I can. So I'm going to come back to all these people and then tell you how I feel about that. Jeremy Grant, no. Montrose Harrell missed too many games. He was having an MVP season start. Tobias is a maybe. Gordon Hayward, no. Hero is like eighth or ninth man He, I like on the all-star because I know we can only have seven. So right now we have two guards and a forward. Uh, Drew Holiday, no. Jaron Jackson Jr., West, Kendall Johnson. So Zach Levine, definitely an all-star for me. Kyle Lowry, no. Maxi, no. McCollum, no. Middleton, no. This is where it's like extremely difficult for me to decide. Oh, I forgot Tatum. So for me, it's between Mobley, uh, and Garland. And I already have two players representing the Nets. The Nets obviously deserve two players. I already have two players representing the Bulls. The Bulls obviously deserve two players. And I do want to make a case that Freddie Van Fleet could be an All Star because without the Raptors, they have their one in ten without Freddie Van Fleet this season. But it's between me. It's probably between Garland, Sabonis, and Freddie Van Fleet for East All Stars. Um, I do want to say that this would be my point guard. These would be my two shooting guards right here, Jimmy and Levine. And then Harden's also another guard, forward. So I guess for the sake of the purposes, we have to have another forward since we have three guards. Uh, Jalen Brown's listed at small forward. But the Celtics do not deserve to have two players in there. I I think I can list uh, Zach Levine as a small forward and just say screw it for this. And I feel like I have to put Darius Garland in there just because how well the Cleveland Cavaliers have been playing. I can't put Jalen Brown over Darius Garland right now. So West Reserves. Cole Anthony is in the East. Desmond Bain, no. DeAndre Aiden, no. Harrison Barnes, no. Devin Booker has definitely been an all-star this season. 23 points per game, six assists, five rebounds. Second, or first seed in the West right now. Miles Bridges was another one that I feel like has been having an all-star season in the East. Uh, Brogdon, no. Dylan Brooks missed too many games. John Collins in the East. That was another one that you, you could argue. Anthony Edwards and De'Aaron Fox both been having all-star all seasons, but I'll come back to that. SGA, I definitely feel like I should put him on here. Rudy Gobert is definitely a lock, as long along with Donovan Mitchell. Um, Darren Jackson, no. Reggie Jackson, no. Kendall Johnson, no. Dame is maybe for me. Um, you could make the argument that Dame is. And then Chris Paul, I definitely feel like he has to be an, an all-star this season. So this is where I'm conflicted because DeJounte Murray has been definitely having an all-star season this season, but his team has not been winning. He does keep them afloat, I will tell them that. Also, Carl Anthony Towns definitely has to be on there. Um, and then I feel like the Warriors do deserve to have two players on their on their team so I don't think it's Wiggins I don't think it's Woods I don't think it's Westbrook Valanchun as you could argue has been having an all-star season but for the purpose of this video I definitely feel like we have to put uh, Draymond in there so I have a point guard two guards a forward and two centers so one more spot so let's go through everybody again so Christian Wood no Andrew Wiggins no Brody no Valanciunas, no. D'Lo, no. Terry Rozier, East. Uh, Porzingis having a good season, but I don't know if I could put him over some of these guys. It's between, to me, it's between DeJounte Murray and Shea Gillages Alexander and Anthony Edwards. Based off of the numbers, Anthony Edwards obviously has the best numbers. Timberwolves have been playing good basketball as well. And then I just realized that I did not put Luka Doncic in my West Stars, so he will be my third spot. So let's see my list. Let's go over my list really fast. Stephen Curry MVP season, averaging a career high. Um, I do want to say something about Stephen Curry. He has been playing basketball the last bad basketball the last two weeks. His field goal percentage has been really low, but there's no way he hasn't been an All Star. John Morant, they've won 11 games in a row, All Star for sure. Lock, lock. This one, these two are interchangeable for me. 
You could say that Gobert could replace Brandon Ingram. And I might actually do that because Gobert is average. Yeah, I might do that. Gobert is averaging 14 and 14. I might have to start Gobert. And Towns, you could argue Towns as well, but I think the Utah Jazz deserve a representation. Our two guards, or our three guards, uh, Chris Paul, Devin Booker, obviously you got to have those guys on there. Uh, set first seed in the West. Luka Doncic struggled with injury. Still, numbers are better than a lot of the other guys I met. Donovan Mitchell, I, I would have had him over John Morant if you asked me a week ago. Draymond Green, I feel like the Warriors have to have two players, so you got to put him on there. Brandon Ingram, probably the best season of his career. There's no way to me he's not an all-star. He's been playing out of his mind this, this season, averaging 24 points a game. Carl Anthony Towns, definitely an all-star. Trey Young, only reason why the Hawks are even relevant right now. Struggled to start the season, been playing great. DeMar DeRozan, sleeper for MVP. They got the first seed in the in the East, even though they got mopped by the Nets the other night, but got to have DeMar there. Kevin Durant, MVP conversation. Giannis, him and Jokic are probably front runners for MVP right now, and Embiid. I honestly genuinely believe that this is Embiid's best season of his career. He's averaging 30, 11, and 7, which is ridiculous, while Jokic is averaging 27, 14, and 7, which is ridiculous as well. Uh, East reserves, LaMelo Ball, I feel like it's between LaMelo and Miles, and I got to put LaMelo there, my other guard. I actually, for this sake, I, w I did not use positions for my East All-Stars because I have five guards, but I just went off who I feel like is the best seven players in the East. Jimmy Butler, when he's on the floor, is just the Miami Heat are just absolutely ridiculous and look like a playoff team. Garland, I feel like there's definitely been two players that need to be uh, highlighted from the Cleveland Cavaliers. Harden, obviously, been an all-star. So these are my two forwards and my center. I should have had one more center, obviously, but, I mean, the center is a, is a dime. I mean, actually, no, I shouldn't say that. So... Zach Levine definitely to me has been an all-star this season. If anybody wants to say DeMar DeRozan is in the MVP conversation, so is Zach Levine. Jason Tatum. So a lot of people might say that Brown deserves this spot over Garland, but the Celtics do not deserve to have two all-stars. We've been playing horrible basketball this whole season. So I got to put Tatum right here and then Jared Allen. Um, if you were asking me top centers in the league, it would be Jokic and Bede. These two guys, Allen, Sabonis, Vucevic. So... Jared Allen is definitely an all-star. These three players injured. Um, I do want to put like a few players in in this candidate. Sabonis is definitely a candidate. Fred Van Fleet is definitely a candidate. Jazante Murray is definitely a candidate. Uh, Ant Edwards, SGA, Jalen Brown, and that's probably good as far as I can see. Uh, yeah, I mean, you have to put Dame there, but I can't put him as an all-star. So, yeah, this is my list. I mean, you tell me what you guys think in the comments. Would you have put Brandon Ingram over? I'm looking at that, and I, I'm not 100% sure how I feel about that, but Gobert is averaging 15 points and 14 rebounds a game. So that's And they're the third seed in the West, so that's pretty ridiculous to me. Uh... If you want me to change something, if you want me to redo this in a week, you guys let me know. There's a few that I'm looking at right here that I'm like, okay, maybe they could be starters. But I like my list a lot. Maybe take out one of these guards and put in some bonus. Um, anyway, I love you guys as always. We're posting every single day. Every single day, like I'm going to be on my grind. I love y'all. Peace.